Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about the ECI XTM100 self-view. So the standard XTM100 consists of a module cage housing, the connection module, card cage housing, the input output and common cards, input filters and fan control units. Module cards M1 to M11. Here you can see the module cages from 1 M1 to M11. There are 11 slots M1 to M11. This is allocated for the electrical interface connection modules or DWDM OADM modules or optical booster amplifiers modules. There are two XIN slots for the in, uh, filter. There is a card key for I1 to I12. Here you can see this I1 to I12. These are the card key. There are 12 slots for card key I1 to I12. Flexibly allocated for the input output cards and the transponders cards depending on the configuration. There are two slots X1 and X2 which is fixed for the HLXC matrix card. Two slots C1 and C2 which is fixed for the XMCP card. And above the C1, C2 you can see there is a MCP card here. An external connection module, the MECP is located in the card cage of the XTM handed above the XMCP or XMCP B card. It is used to connect the management overhead access and order wire interface to the X2M XMCP card. The module cage contains 11 double slot connection module, electrical input output card installed in the card cage interface with the XTM 100 wire connection module installed in the module cage. The module are extractable along a flexible assignment of physical input output ports optical input output cards utilize internal slide in input output module for signal in, uh, interfacing and do not require connection module in the module mm -hmm. cage the free module cage slot in the optical systems can therefore be allotted to the dwdm or oadm multiplexing and amplification modules so these are module cage is uh, allotted for m1 to m12 here is this is the self view of the uh, nms view Module cages for M1 to M1, uh, M11, 11 slots M1 to M11 allocated for the electrical interface connection modules. And this module is used for the DWDM OADM. This uh, module also consists uh, uh, optical booster, means optical booster can be used in these modules and pre-amplifier modules also can be used in, used in this cage uh, module cage. HLX which is the matrix card for is a uh, fixed in slot x1 and x2 there are two hlx card in here you can see there are different types of HLC, hlx matrix card offer for the extreme large case and they differ in the switching capacity let like hlx 192 it supports 192 into 192 htm1 streams switching of uh, 384 into 384 htm1 streams is used by hlx 384 hlx 768 and hlx 153x which supports 768 into 768 htm1 stream and 1536 and 1536 HTML streams. Note HLXE 384 and HLXE 760 not supported in XTM 500. In 500 XIU card is supported. HLX 1536 is supported in XTM 300 only. Sorry, it's 3000 only. So HLXE 1536 is for very large mux HLXE. XDM 1000 contains two identical HLXC cards. Both cards perform the cross connect and node synchronization function simultaneously in one plus one protection configuration. In case of a hardware failure in the operational HLXC or in its traffic interconnection, the input output interface card switch to the backup HLXC within 50 milliseconds. Similarly, in case of a hardware failure in the TMU or the timing management unit of the operational HLXC, the backup TMU takes over the timing control with no traffic disruption. The operational HLX is determined by the lights of network manager. So the same feature of HLX which is which was in uh, slot X1. So all these features, these booth cards are sim similar and there are two cards, one in one plus one protection used in X1 and X2 slots. Card cage, there is a slot I1 to I12. There are 12 card slots I1 to I12 flexible allocated for the input output card and for the transponder depending upon the configuration so these 12 i1 to i12 these 12 cards can be used for the card gauge xmcp xmcp card in slot c1 and c2 the slot c1 and c2 is fixed for the xmcp card the xmcp perform the communication control alarm and maintenance function for the xtm an additional xmcp card is optionally provided to full functionality full capability one plus one protection since the standby xmcp has an identical data phase to the active xmcp card there is a c1 and c2 one is main card and one is the standby card the standby card has also uh, the same database like 
C1. If the mean card has been failed, the it can be a hold over, a hand over to the C2, which is the standby card. And these are responsible for the communication with the external network elements and management station. It communicates with the with other HDS sonnet NEs via the DCC channel embedded in each SIO link. In addition, the XMCP provides the multiple access to all overhead bytes in all incoming HDS sonnet lines. It provides 64 kbps and N into 64 kbps still capability for transporting management data external DCC channel for external DC DCN purpose. XMCP is similar to the similar like in C1, so the same features and same description. X FCU in slot F1, F2, F3. There are two, three slots F1, F2, and F3 for the X FCU. This is the fan control unit, and this unit at the right side of the cell provides cooling air to the system. It contains nine separate fans for added system redundancy. Air is drawn in by fans from the right side of the chassis and exhausted through the horizontally mounted cards and modules and through the left side of the chassis. Redundant controllers located on the two MXC card activate, activate the fans. In case of failure of one of the fans, the remaining fans provide redundancy and start to operate in turbo mode until the XFCU 100 is replaced. The XFCU 100 can be extracted and replaced without interrupting the multiplexer functions operation. It provides the replacement does not exit and the replacement of these units does not take more than few minutes. MECP in slot 3. MECP, an external connection module, the MECP is located in the cards case of the XTM1000 F of the XMCP and XMCP B cards. It is used to connect the management overhead access and over wire interface to the active XMCP card. The modules case contain 11 double slot connection modules. Electrical, inter electrical input output card installed in the card cage interface with the XTM1000 wire connection module installed in the module cage. The modules are acceptable and thus allow the flexible assignment of physical input output card. The optical input output card like internal slide in input output modules for single interfacing and uh, not required connection modules in the module cage. The free module cage slot in optional system can therefore be allotted to the WDM or OADM multiplexing and amplification modules. The XMCP connects the management overhead access and order wire interface to the active XMCP. The physical management connection is provided by the ECB located above the MECP. The MECP supports a standard order wire as well as a special voice channel over the DCC when using the VoIP and a special router. These features enable external calls from the outside the network to a particular site. In addition, the MECP generates system alarms and activate indicators, for example, software downloads, restart, configuration, and so on. In pure optical network, Networks and inline amplifier sites. One of the two special MECP version is supplied to support the optical supervisory channel, and the wavelength used for the OSC is 1310 uh, and 1510 nanometers. XINF in PWN and PW two slots to support system redundancy. Each cross connect card contains an integrated SIN XTM input filter units with connectors for two input op input power source. Each cross connect card means HLXC X1 and X2 HLXC card contains an integrated filter XDM input filters unit with connectors for the two input power sub power sources. So these two cards can get the power by these two filters. So these are the XDM 100 in the network, how it shows in the network, and these are the system technical specification. It supports hardware redundancy, topology, multi-ring, and ring star linear protection and restoration. All these features. This is a system technical info, uh, technical specification. Like maximum distance to the 250 to 500 hundred, which is a single span 350 kilometers. Number of channel in DWDM it supports 80 channels, and CWDMs it supports 60 channels. It supports L2M service services. So thanks for this.